scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. You see, for as long as it is night, you will continue to weep. But when light comes, this light we are talking about, the Bible says there, were many lights Buddhism has some light occultism has some light they manipulate things but the Bible says he made two great lights great lights the lights that rule in the day and the lights that rule in the night when the Sun shines you wonder if there are stars again all of a sudden the brilliance that is the same way God does not bless you by just prophesying to you alone. He blesses you by getting you filled with his light. You become so full, you turn back and can't find darkness again. The Bible says in John chapter 1, listen carefully and verse 5. It says the light shineth in darkness. The light, the word that you have that has been brought to you by the spirit is capable of dispelling any darkness so brothers and sisters let me encourage you you may look around your life and not find any traceable evidence that rewards your hunger and your passion for god and the devil will want to lie to you to say for how long will you continue seeking him without a sign let me tell you this do you know in the spirit five minutes to your breakthrough it will still not be like it but all of a sudden, he said, in a moment, in a twinkling of an eye, your life will just shift and change in a way that will bless you. That's how God lifts people. Please, I want you to be very intentional about your expectation. God is not a fool. He doesn't call the seed of Jacob to seek him in vain. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do? over your life before you sit down Psalm 45 Shabrando Zikatulia Hasarabale Psalm 45 The Lord just put it in my spirit to prophesy over your life Words are powerful Realities are created through words 45 verse 12 it says and the daughter of tyre shall be there with a gift it says even the rich among the people 
shall entreat your favor there is listen i taught you something well we're, we're going to teach on something but it's just a grace that came on me now listen to me listen you see brothers and sisters everything in life that we know is bought with money is that true do you agree with me but do you know that money itself is a product that is bought with something come promise promise once a phone listen carefully and then i give him money this money can buy a phone do you agree what if it is money he wants what can i give him to buy money the name of what you give that buys money is what the bible calls true riches true riches it is true riches that can purchase unfaithful mammon and alongside with it buy every other thing the peace the joy the influence are we together there is something in this kingdom that buys every other thing on earth this looks like the highest most valuable thing when you possess this you can make any noise and ramble and talk rubbish but in the kingdom there are realities that we possess listen carefully and the bible says with it everything whether this whatever it is you can possess is is called the true riches there are seven of this spiritual capital one of them is called light we buy things with light the power light is capital in the spirit the anointing is capital in the spirit words are capital in the spirit in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I speak over you that in this season I program a climate of spiritual reality above you and I declare may it begin to call strange levels of lifting in your life may it begin to call strange levels of honor to your life may it begin to call strange levels of speed in your life we're going to sit down shortly let me pray for the grace for speed now listen be sensitive because the people the anointing will come on sometimes they can attempt to run physically so you hold them so they don't scatter anywhere right now i stretch my hands the grace that came upon elijah that caused him to overtake the chariot of ahas by this apostolic and prophetic grace i stand in the office of my call i shift you by speed enter a new dimension in the name of jesus speed 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 i prophesied in one day let zion be born i command speed speed in your finances speed in your spiritual life speed in every area of your life whatever level you have been in spiritually and you have refused to shift i stand by prophecy and i shift you to a new dimension new level of prophecy new level of revelation new level of encounters new levels of signs and wonders receive it in the name of jesus We see your glory. You know that song? In this
this kingdom it is what is on you that controls what is around you are you hearing what i'm saying in this kingdom it is the spiritual climate above you i'm speaking by the spirit it is the spiritual climate above you that controls the realities that are captured in your life it takes more than desire it takes more than zeal again i'm speaking to you any climate over you that is drawing things in your life that are putting you in trouble any climate that is refusing you from rising you are a man of god with an anointing yet doors are not opening because there is a climate in the name of jesus i command that climate to live your life now shortly lift your hands I want to pray on your hands not you just your hands it was with the hand Moses held the rod he says and with these hands you will do signs and wonders I stretch my hands to your hands and by the spirit I make contact with your hands may these hands carry straight fire fire for signs fire for wonders you lay these hands and change the destinies of men you lay these hands and speak the purposes of the kingdom everything these hands come upon i declare that it is anointed it will be an instrument of signs and wonders in the name of jesus christ please sit down if you can just just leave those under the anointing please sit down Hallelujah. You see, if the power of God cannot come and change you, then you are wasting your time. Brothers and sisters, I am ministering to you what the Bible calls true riches. This is God's justice system. Oh, I didn't, I was not so educated. Oh, I was not this. I didn't have wealthy parents. But there is something that can come upon men and help them. You are receiving the help of God. God doesn't just help people by wishing. He puts something upon your life. I've taught you this. What is on you is what controls what is around you. Not what you want. Not what men say. They can talk nonsense from morning till night. If you ever turn and see strange results in your life whether you know it or not there is something controlling it if a man ever looks at you and says i want to bless you nobody has the heart to do it on his own no sir if as a man of god you ever call for a solemn assembly and people come there is something on you it's not about stories and nonsense What is upon you is what controls what is around you. I repeat, what is upon you? If you desire something around you and it's not there, don't look for it. Look for what must come upon you to bring that thing you desire. Always like you, Lord, in all the earth. Much less love and beauty endless work nothing in this world can satisfy Jesus you're the count that will run dry treasure of my heart and of my soul 
my weakness, you are merciful. Redeemer of my past and present wrong. You're the holder of my future days. And all my days on earth, I will away. The moment that I see you face to face. For nothing in this world can satisfy. Jesus, Lord, the God that won't run dry. Other things can run dry. But Jesus, you're the car that will run dry. Jesus, you're the car that will run dry. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We are gathered here and we will always allow you to build, to change to lift any spirit within this vicinity that is not of the Christ I stand here right now if there be any force any yoke, any agreement upon anyone's life, I speak right now. Be set free, be released now. Every other influence on your life that is not of the Christ, bringing you oppression, programming failure to your life, I stretch my hands and I command liberty right now in the name of Jesus. Please be seated. God bless you. Mm. This is Koinonia. The anointing that comes upon you when you come here is the Holy Spirit doing something within you. Because the words that you are hearing are not just carnal words, it's not just a lecture. The words you are hearing is spirit and life. So while the word is coming, something, an anointing, one of the true riches of the kingdom comes with the word too. If you believe what I'm teaching you, you will so dominate life in a way that will surprise you. When you do not possess the riches of the spirit, then every other thing becomes Lord over your life but those who dominate in this kingdom are those who possess the true riches of the kingdom hallelujah I have a new topic tonight but last week um, I was to give us six points on what the secret place is I gave us five and we had to stop because of the time. Let me quickly give us the last one. Please, you can, um, especially if you were here, just go back to your notes and I'll give you the last point very quickly and then we'll go to tonight's discussion. We discussed last week that the secret place is a place of brokenness. We discussed that the secret place is a place where we obtain mercy. That the secret place is a place of revelation where the mysteries and the strategies of the spirit are revealed to men especially the mysteries that's responsible for your destiny i'm lifting your family said the spirit of god no this is not this is not for everybody i'm speaking to someone now 
I'm lifting your family. It will be like a dream. It will be like a dream. I'm lifting your family. 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 The Lord is bringing, bringing a long period of struggle for a family to end. That's what the Lord is doing. The confusion of many years coming to end within a week. Completely. Within a week. The Lord is speaking to someone here and he's saying, I will visit you again. Of course, everyone can receive, but this is a particular revelation. God is saying, I am coming to you again. The way I came before, I am coming again. I am coming again. It will be in this month, this month of June. He will come to you again with a very strange encounter and you will receive something from that encounter that will change your life in the name of Jesus Christ please be seated so we said that number four that the secret place is a place where we find rest and comfort rest and comfort and then number five we said the secret place is a place of revival and restoration revival revival of fire revival of love revival of passion revival of grace revival of mantles revival of new dimensions in the spirit and then i'll give you the last one and then we'll go this is not the topic for today i just want to make sure we complete the note that the secret place is the place of spiritual empowerment we gain power not by strolling on the seat it is in the secret place that we find true spiritual power in a secret place you get the anointing for your personal life and in the secret place you get the anointing to accomplish God's agenda for a season you can be anointed as a believer but not anointed to be relevant for a season listen very carefully it is possible that I'm anointed if you come to me I can pray for you but as far as God's agenda within a territory is concerned it's possible that you are not relevant there is a special anointing that one is not the anointing for a believer that one is not even the anointing for your call and office it is the anointing that makes a man relevant within a season that's why you see many anointed people become voiceless after certain seasons they are still anointed they still love God but the anointing to play a key role in God's program is not there. So although they are anointed, you still get blessed. But it's very clear that the lampstand is not on them within that season. The Lord put a very serious topic in my heart tonight that I want to share. Tonight's topic is going to challenge you is going to inspire you and is going to provoke you pray in the spirit for one minute just do what i'm asking you to do pray in the spirit just pray in the spirit for one minute just be sensitive to the instructions Shekete barato sodo balato. Shebete keto kato kato balakato sekete. Manaka labaruse anamala kasom British kalabaria. You're allowing your spirit contact something while you pray. 
Don't stop, keep praying. Shabala da bala da bakatos. Sheke teke teke ratu sada bali katapos. Galil yon, God most high. Jesus Christ is the Galil yon of Israel. Galil. God holds high. Jesus Christ is the end of peace. Right here. God holds high. Jesus Christ. Please be seated if you can. sit down, get something to write if you can unless understand what the Lord wants to help us I'm not sure we'll be able to complete it tonight contending for kingdom relevance part one mm. contending for kingdom relevance part one Contending for kingdom relevance, part one. This is a very powerful teaching that seeks to show you how you can become a voice. You can represent the voice of God to a generation and you can rise to a position of kingdom influence. Remember, we're still in a season where God has declared that he is lifting men. Acts chapter 30 and verse 36. Please give it to us. Just sit where you are. Shekete kota salabra dikete keli adaba. Shereke to kasalabra dikete baladaba. Shele baratu se de keli adaba ladaba ladabu. Shaka to ske pradish kala brendi keli ba. Reke to kasada baladaba kote adaba. Shekete baratu se kete bali adaba. Something is lifting from your life. Sheka paruta si adaba. Lifting from your life. Sheba koto si. Lifting from your life, shake it I change that situation now. I change that situation now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I change that situation now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I change that situation now. For David, please give us Amplified. It says, for David, after he had served God's will and purpose and counsel, but he served it in his own generation. He said, fell asleep and was buried. But he said, David served God in his generation 
it's not enough to serve God is enough to serve God within the context of a generation are we together now there are mandates that are left for generations every generation has a spiritual curriculum about God and his purposes that God intends for them to accomplish and hear me your relevance within a generation is predicated upon your understanding your generation and knowing the corporate mandate that God has put upon that generation you can live within a generation and serve God but serve God in a way and manner that does not influence a generation it's not enough to serve God you must serve God in a way and a manner that brings the purposes of God to a generation and this is what I want to teach you tonight he said David served God's will and purpose and counsel in his own generation not another generation everyone that the bible records that was used by god was used within the context of a generation listen very carefully if you miss relevance within your generation then you have missed relevance forever are we together i think i was teaching in lagos during the younger gave that program and i gave them an illustration no matter how anointed I am, anybody above 55 years is not within the scope of my generation. No matter how I love them, they will be blessed from my life, but they will quickly go to Papa Oyedeko and Papa Deboe because those are the voices of that generation. Are you getting what I'm teaching you now? It's not enough to seek relevance. You must seek relevance within the context of a generation. Your voice does not speak to every generation. There is a generation where your relevance is allocated to. God sends men, not just to places, he sends men to a generation. And if you cannot identify your generation of impact and influence, then you will live a very useless life. And David after he served the will of god there are some things that are allowed in other generations that are not allowed in others are we together every time god was about to move within the scope of a generation he would find a man or he would find men and then begin to introduce them to the dynamics of relevance and greatness contending for kingdom relevance there are things that we need to know if we are to rise to a point of kingdom influence and relevance and have taught us again and again in this place that kingdom relevance is very important to have kingdom influence and it is also very important to be able to speak the purposes of God when you are unable to represent the purposes of God within a generation then you may not be able to To influence that generation judges chapter 6 please very quickly we are going to read from verse 11 judges chapter 6 this was an encounter that the Lord had with a young man called Gideon verse 11 and there came an angel of the Lord and sat under an oak which is in Ophrah and pertained to Joash and all of that and his son Gideon Gideon threshed wheat by the winepress 
to hide it from the Midianites. Remember, they were being threatened by the Midianites. And the angel of the Lord appeared unto him and said, The Lord is with thee, O mighty man of Pharaoh. And Gideon answered and said unto him, O my Lord, if the Lord be with us, why then is this befallen us? And where be all his miracles which our father told of, saying, Does the Lord not do this and that and that for him? And the Lord looked upon him and said, Go in this thy might, and thou shalt save Israel from the hand of the Midianites. Have I not sent thee? It didn't look to Gideon like he was sent. But God said, Have I not sent thee? With a message and a mandate to a people. Next verse 15. And he said unto him, Listen, listen carefully. He said, Oh my Lord, wherewith shall I save where? Not the whole world. Israel. You have sent me with a message, but that message is to a people and a context. He said, Behold, this is my limitation. My family is poor in Manasseh and I am aside from the fact that the family is poor I am the least in my father's house look at the excuse he's giving God is telling him I am lifting you and then he says I cannot do the assignment because of two things one poverty There is a relationship between poverty and lack of influence and lack of relevance. Number two, lack of greatness. I am small. My family is small. And yet even in that family, I am the least in my father's house. 16. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And the Lord said unto him, Surely, I will be with thee and because of my presence with thee thou shalt smite the Midianites as one man follow me very carefully tonight <laughs> Jesus Psalm 24 and verse 6 he said this is the generation not this is the person listen carefully this is the generation that has a mandate as a generation to seek God but to seek God in the similitude of Jacob Listen very carefully. He's saying the word, O Jacob, there is O God of Jacob. He said there is a generation mandated by God to seek God in the similitude of Jacob. Are we together now? When God tells you to search for him, he looks for human references that are reflections of that expectation. Are we together? When God wants to teach believers to love, he will lift up John and tell them to study his life. When God wants to teach people how to walk in the blessing, he lifts up Abraham and tells them to study his life. In James chapter 5, when God is teaching people how to pray strategic prayer, he lifts up a prophet called Elijah and says, study him. When God wants to teach people on faith, he lifts up Peter when God wants to teach men on revelation, he lifts up Paul the apostle. Are we together now? So God is very figurative in his expression. For you to understand this scripture, you have to go back to Genesis 28 and Genesis 32 and study how Jacob sought God. Because he said that mandate that was on one man, Jacob, is a mandate that one day will come upon a generation that a generation will be mandated to seek the face of God in the similitude 
of Jacob. Are we together? God appears to Jacob in chapter 28. And until that time, listen carefully, there was no God of Jacob. When God revealed himself, he said, I am the God of Abraham. There was a way I taught Abraham to seek me. There were possibilities about me that no one had known. But my encounter with Abraham introduced the world of men to these possibilities. The God of Abraham. Then Isaac the son used the God of Abraham to create the God of Isaac. The God of Abraham was a springboard. The mysteries of God that his father knew. And out of his own dealings with God, God created a name called the God of Isaac. By the time we get to Psalms here, Jacob had done his own too. And God names himself by a man's experience with him. Jacob's encounter is so powerful that God's covenant people were not named after Abraham. They were not named after Isaac. They are not called the Abrahamites. They are not called the Isaacites. They are called the Israelites, not even the Jacobites. So powerful was this encounter that God said the generation that wants to know me must seek me in the similitude of Jacob. You want to influence a generation? Hmm. God is lifting her, Dr. Halima. I'm seeing her climb a ladder. The Spirit of God is lifting her to a higher level of influence. That's what, that's what I'm seeing in the Spirit. You want to be relevant to a generation. If you love God and you desire that through your life His purposes be established, then you must contend for kingdom influence. I've taught you again and again in this place that kingdom advance is a product of two things. One is global evangelization. Number two, influence. The purposes of the kingdom must be established in the hearts of men through evangelism and then through influence must be established across every strata of human activities. Are we together? So you must know how to birth the purposes of God. And I want you to follow me as I share with you. There are certain things in the spirit that when you touch, you will never be irrelevant. Please listen to me. But most of what it takes to be relevant, believers are not seeking it. We are seeking nonsense all around. Yet we are looking for kingdom relevance. The things that make for relevance in this kingdom are spiritual in context. First, in that order, we are searching for mundane and carnal things that do not have the fortitude to give men a voice in a generation. That's why I shared with you the secret place before coming to this topic. And David served his generation. I hope you know, listen very carefully. I hope you know that when the Holy Ghost came upon the apostles in Acts chapter 2, from then onwards, the strategic apostles that were listed in the Bible were not the only ones who received. There were many other people. But a few people grew to a point where their voices echoed through history. To the point that they were captured in this Bible. When you study history, not just Bible history, you study history and archaeology, you will find out that many other spiritual things happen concurrently as at the time certain historic writings were being written. Spiritual things. But they were not relevant to the context and the program of God within a generation. It's amazing how people think because they are born again or they have a church or they have revelation 
they will continue to be relevant in God's program for all seasons no sir I have seen extremely anointed men and women of God and I have seen the boundaries of their relevance with respect to a generation I have seen people who are not too anointed but I've seen them at the epicenter of a generation's relevance there are men and women who would look at people like Joel Austin and look at people like Joyce Mayer and um, if you're one who is into the things of the spirit fasting prayer with all honor and respect you may not so much appreciate their ministry because of the context of their communication it sounds very basic yet in a way that looks as though it's a charm they have commanded the attention of a generation effortlessly unbendingly they have entered their sabbath in relevance and yet again and again we find anointed men miracle workers still crouching scrounging at the doorways the corridors of relevance understand what i'm teaching you tonight and you will enter your sabbath there will be no need for competition there will be no need for unhealthy comparison because you will know that the keys of a generation has been given to you You have captured my heart, consume my heart with your love. You have captured my heart, consume my heart with your love. One more time. served his generation he peeped into another generation that was not his own and he wanted to still negotiate and God said no 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 you have tried Abba he wanted to start building a temple to start the mandate of another generation and God said you have tried you have tried you have tried David you have served God you have shed blood in the process just relax let your son take over and he said I must still contribute let me gather the materials and God said this man David, you, you are a man after my own heart. And because of that, you may not serve in that generation, but I will show you. Look at the Messiah. And David saw a vision. The Lord said to my Lord, sit down. That was the coronation of Jesus. He said, David so longed, he, he mastered his generation. There was no other voice speaking. Samuel, was a man who held the keys to the voice of God in his generation. You could brag and talk nonsense, but if you did not find Samuel, you would keep crying. It wasn't pride. Oh, God is everywhere. Yes, but there are gatekeepers. Samuel. Samuel. To the point that when a man was about to step into the anointing, God had to use a coincidence to lead him to Samuel. The Bible says of Samuel that none of his words, none of his words fell to the ground. But remember before Samuel started, there was a man called Eli that served the priesthood of his time. There was a period of more than 500 years of darkness from Malachi till the appearance of John after prophet Malachi it was somewhat a very dark season for the church no prophecy no nothing everything and all of a sudden a young boy born to a man who began to manifest a level of priesthood called John the prophet 
was in the wilderness and all of a sudden for the first time they would encounter a prophetic voice they had lost touch with prophecy and then john was so wise he knew when his relevance was coming to an end and when jesus showed up showed up this is what he said that i may decrease i have exhausted myself jesus listen john remained relevant because he announced jesus and he kept upholding jesus the moment he brought jesus down he died too with him although his mandate was over he said who is the next let me uphold him let me give you this secret i want to teach you something powerful if you are in ministry never fight your sons a father that fights his sons loses his honor a son that fights his father loses his life there are punishments allocated for the various offenses every time you see god lifting a man join to lift it if the last move of god always fights the next move of god chances are that when we are in the program of god and a shift begins to happen and god begins to raise other voices the the threat of feeling irrelevant begins to make people to not want to partner with what god is doing and they now begin to fight it and you cannot fight what is of god you will go down and so they go down together with it do you know why david's name still remained relevant lord you will not allow me build the temple you said i've shed innocent blood i would have been offended and david's name would have gone down but he said no solomon i will gather the materials for you build the house i will gather the material everybody who partnered with everything god was doing also remained relevant that was the wisdom of the woman with the alabaster box i'm a prostitute i mean i don't have a name but jesus can i partner with your relevance and jesus said anywhere they talk about me this woman too her story will be remembered there are people all across this nation and all across the earth who by either because their assignment has come to an end or their lack of spiritual alignment has edged them out of god's program once upon a time they were at the epicenter of god's program but either because of pride or disalignment or just the assignment coming to end you know why billy graham remained relevant he knew when he had served this generation and he created a legacy institute and all he was doing till he died was lifting all those who it was their generation and although he's dead he has been immortalized through his ability to lift men same thing with my dear mentor eternally dr miles mono he died but his books brought him back to life he said body you can be laid to rest mind stand up and keep speaking Miles Munro is still alive. His body is in the grave. But his mind is still in us. We have kept him alive. Because he saw a generation. One of the last books that he wrote before he died was passing it on. The mystery. Not everybody will be relevant for our generation once upon a time papa ea adeboye grew with a generation and today he's old with that generation no matter how prophetic you are your mother would prefer to listen to papa ea adeboye than you i said it in lagos that even if i cut a human head and throw it down and carry it up and fix it back to show how powerful i am an old woman will look at me and say wow young man i'm impressed let me go to redemption camp quickly i'll see you later because even if they come for this program you were not sent to that generation 
the voice that grew with that generation is the voice that represents the purposes of God to them. Listen. Demons know this. Occultists know this. Believers do not know how to grow with a generation such that you become a dimension of God. The four faces at the throne represented different dimensions of God. What I am teaching you tonight will keep you relevant because by the time you are established in this kingdom, your generation will know you to be the face of something about God to them. Every time you talk of prosperity, we go to Sam Adeyemi for his generation. When you talk about faith and signs and wonders, am I not a man of faith? But you see, our parents will not come to me as that reference. I didn't grow with that generation to represent that dimension of God. I'm teaching you how you cannot be erased in the purposes of God. You want to stay relevant? It's more than making money. You must represent a dimension of God to a generation and grow with them knowing you to represent that. By the time they are established, they will educate themselves to look up to you by grace as a revelation of that dimension who is the Samadayami of our generation who is the Bishop Oyedeko of our generation who is the Papa Ie Adeboy of our generation who is the WF Kumuyo of our generation who is the Apostle Babalola of our generation it's not just giving yourself titles I'm Apostle nonsense I'm, I'm Prophet rubbish that's not the issue it's about staying it is your generation that will call you, not you. The Bible said they shall call you. The reward for being branded to represent a dimension of God is the name they call you. Are we together? Some of us, your ministries right now have a lot of small children and teenagers and you are embarrassed. Because you are hoping that rich millionaires of 60 years will start coming to your church. You better thank God for sending a generation for you to grow with them. Are we together? I remember years ago when he and I started, there were a lot of young people, students all around. And people would just look at it like a children's on the school class. And I said, oh dear. Those people that are children are now workers scattered all around. You see that? If Papa Ia Deboe says all believers in Nigeria fast for three days, whether you're a member of Redeem or not, you are going to fast. If your pastor said don't fast, you just respect him and pass and say nonsense. <laughs> you just started a church two years ago and you are telling me to disobey a man. He has represented the voice of God, not just to Nigeria, but to the world. Contending for kingdom relevance I will never lead a group of people who are anointed and not relevant I have studied the systems of the kingdom and I have studied the limitation of the ignorance of anointed men of God men and women of God especially in this nation are very ignorant when it comes to the strategies for kingdom advance the scope of our relevance is building individual capacities to love God but the strategy for kingdom advance is seldom understood. And our generation is at the mercy of a bridge, a repairer of the bridge. Otherwise, we will have very heavy spiritual capacities and lose a voice territorially. Are we together? Praise the Lord. Five keys. Let me not waste your time. Straight to the point. Five keys. You want to serve your generation please i want you to listen very carefully to become influential enough to establish the purpose of, of the purposes of god within a generation number one you must know god you must know god you want to serve the purposes of god you must know god not you may know god not you can know god you must have an encounter with God. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. 
the bible ties exploits even within a generation to the knowledge of god are we together it says such as do wickedly against the covenant he shall corrupt by flatteries he said but the people that do know they are god they are god let me tell you what that means to know god is not just to know the general god you must know the god revealed to your generation if you are in jacob's generation and you know the god of abraham alone you will not be relevant in jacob's generation every generation has a dimension of god revealed to it whoever finds that dimension is the person who becomes relevant within that context are we blessed but the people that do know their god they shall be strong and shall do exploits listen to me in this kingdom it is your fraternity with the spirit realm that culminates to your dominion and your victory ask any great man if they are honest enough they will tell you there is a certain level in this kingdom and in the world today you cannot rise beyond without a fraternity with the realm of the spirit whether in business in ministry listen carefully career whatever it is if you ever see anyone commanding any dimension of superior results whether through occultism whether in the secular or whatever i can tell you beyond the secular knowledge and all of those things a time came in their lives when they became assisted by the realm of the spirit for 30 years jesus as the word the living logos was powerless but when the holy ghost came upon him that partnership turned him into christos the christ the anointed one the messiah you must know god you must know god jeremiah chapter 9 and verse 23 to 24 please give it to us quickly jeremiah chapter 9 thus saith the lord not an angel let not the wise man glory in his wisdom our generation has many wise men who are poor many wise men who are broke many wise men who are not relevant at all the bible says first things first he didn't say wisdom is not important let not the wise man glory in his wisdom let not the mighty man glory in his might let not the rich man glory in his riches 24 but let him that glorieth glory in this that he understandeth and knoweth me that's the pride of the believer your the foundation of your confidence in life should never be because of the car that is parked outside because of the food that is on your table because of your degree that is in your drawer are we together no. all those things only make sense when you are centrally connected to god those who will be relevant in these end times those who will defy the operation of demons those who will defy the causes and the yokes of culture those who will defy all the manipulations of darkness they are not just well-meaning people but those who know their god understand it and know it me are we blessed you go and prescribe this to someone who wants to be great and see how he will frown at you he won't exactly hate it he will just smile and be angry because he believes that when you want to be great just teach him business principles do this do that quickly you want to be great oh let me teach you on book publishing book publishing is the art of a that gives b this to c all those things are rubbish if you don't know god one yoke from your village can rewind your success is all you are you are you are laboring for nothing the bible says it is vain to wake up in the morning hear me nigerians wake up in the morning and sleep late in the night 
only to eat the bread of sorrow that's why many hard-working people are angry they look at life and say it's not fair and you are right I was a graduate since 1961 and I've not built a house now and look at all these small 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 boys sorry for you the foundation of relevance for every generation is not just your connection to God but your knowledge of God when last did you ever see this being prescribed as a formula for greatness and please those of you here who are into personal development and the rest is wonderful when you are teaching the secular you go ahead but when you are mentoring people let the foundation of growth be the realm of the spirit are we together you know you talk like this and a lot of people believe that you don't know what you're saying you don't know anything about secular success you're wrong you're wrong you must know God Jacob had an encounter with God a nation has never been named after you a nation has never been named after your father and my father listen carefully a nation has never been named even after your president there is I'm not sure of any nation in the world that has been named after a man so when a man is so relevant that God's nation is named after him study how he rose up like that the foundation was not intelligence the foundation was an encounter Genesis chapter 28 when you read from 11 to 17 he lighted upon a place and lay down on a stone to sleep and the Bible says when you begin to read down to 17 that a ladder was connecting the earth to heaven listen very carefully and then at the top of it give us verse uh, let's see verse 13 or 14 and listen behold the Lord stood above it let's hear what God is saying God said I am the God of who God himself is calling himself the God of Abraham so it's not something men are calling God himself called himself not I am the king of kings I am the God of Abraham I am the God of Isaac stop no other person had been interested in knowing me enough to add to the list that means it was never supposed to just stop as the God of Israel I am the God of Abraham the God of Isaac I am the God of Jacob uh-huh I am the root of David David added himself I am this and that then Joshua Selman too comes to add himself so that our children when you say I'm not saying you should say the God of Joshua Selman I'm just teaching you how it is when you say the God of Joshua Selman it's not the same as the God of Abraham I don't know what Abraham saw I don't know what what his business was with God but there is a dimension you hear the people say the God of our fathers had appeared to me at that time Jacob had not yet been in the list it says the land where out thou will this and that and that and that and then Jacob woke up in the morning and said the Lord was in this place and I knew not how terrible he said this is the house of God the gates of heaven the next encounter will be in chapter 32 and verse 22 please give it to us we're reading down to 30 chapter 32 from verse 22 22 32 22 chapter 32 and verse 22 let me read it from here chapter 32 and verse 22 and he rose up that night Jacob now and took his two wives and his two women servants and his eleven sons and passed over forth Jabbok 23 we're reading to 30 and he took them and sent them over the brook and sent over that he had 24 and Jacob was left alone Jacob got to a point where everything that represented his relevance he had to give it away wives go 
possessions go everything go and when he was alone the reason why many of us may never encounter God is because there are many things together with us your money is still there your house is still there every other thing is there but when you are left alone he says and there wrestled a man with him until the breaking of day 25 and when he saw that he prevailed not against him he touched the strongest part that means you have been strong by yourself without me i see that you so love your decree to a point that every time i say i'm lifting you you smile and says because i'm an engineer of course i should be lifted it's because i'm a doctor it's because i'm an architect lord i know that contract and god's touched that area and said it may not always be by what you call strength it is by my strength and the hall of jacob's tie was out of joint and he wrestled with him 26 and he said let me go god now for the day breaketh and he said jacob may that be someone's testimony oh, that you say lord in this generation i don't just want to be a story i will hold on to you and people say look everybody is getting a job oh, everybody is moving and you say just leave me may god bless you but lord i cannot leave this place you see many graduates make a foolish mistake the moment they write their last exam they pour mineral on their head and joke around and play around tap water and immediately they are done they carry their bag and run and join the queue of confusion where you should stay back and have a two weeks retreat and lie down near one tree and say lord i'm not leaving this place until i f what will i tell my generation that I went to school for five years? Is that enough to give you a voice? I entered somewhere in Abuja and the receptionist had three MSCs. Receptionist, three MSCs. I said, if you come to this place and it's grammar you want to talk, you will be a foolish person. Three, two of them were abroad and then one in the country. Receptionist. Don't think it's a small place. A salary can, let me just keep quiet. Oh, don't don't think reception is like you are thinking one small kiosk no that's a place where only kings enter and i said my god you need more in this life brothers and sisters i'm not teaching you to be lazy but i'm telling you that if you want to command a voice you can carry your first class degree and get a job and meet somebody who was the son of a herbalist who also got the job with you and they say we are considering someone for promotion and he's laughing at you already he's pitying you because he knows one week to the promotion interview your leg refuses to move from your bed and you come to the office and he says well just to let you know that you had me you had that they say my father is a herbalist <laughs> the wicked world that we live in i know someone who was promoted true story sat down on his chair for the first time and died on the chair there they went to consult all kinds of people some habali says his wife that killed him some other habali says the guy that mops the the office that killed him it doesn't matter he's dead he's dead who killed you it's not a, you are dead can you know god to a point that someone is concocting a charm the first portion he drops fire response fire and says no no there are some touch knots ah, ah. he suffered no man to do them wrong he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm listen something happened i think it was last week one of our dear ones some of these touts these boys around that catch people collect phones and the rest and i got to hear that one of our dear ones as he went home he was whether he was on his way going home or he went home i think he went home and then went to get something or so afterwards that some of these scouts these guys just attacked him they attacked him collected phone this they caught him like this with a knife like a ram they showed it to me when i was in lagos over the over the, the, the week i just came back today and then when i saw it i was just laughing i allowed them the protocol and the rest to shut the door i got down on my knees 
I said, Lord, except I am not anointed, the person who did this thing, listen, when I said that by evening, they had caught them. They are right now, as you call Alex outside, the police now, right now, do you know how they caught them? They, after that prayer, the guy now went to go and waylay somebody. He didn't know he was a police officer. Then they caught him and packed all the phones. And the phone they picked was the guy's own. They called and his friend was with him in the hospital. As it is today, they are carrying him to the hospital to identify him. And only God knows what they will do for him. Do you know God that much? That the bowing of your knees can manipulate anything in the earth realm. See, let me tell you, if you don't understand this, most times you would think people are boasting. When someone says, I will pray for you, you've heard that thing? I will pray for you. He doesn't pray for us so because you know his prayer is powerless. But there are people, if they say they will pray for you, rejoice. They are not using your faith. He said, for this cause, I, Paul, bow my knees to the Father. I'm praying for your sake. Ah! Jesus prayed for us, so John 17, he prayed for us. When I was coming, the military people came to greet me. I said, please, you people should use those boys to teach people in this area that there are still apostolic and prophetic voices. We are not just acting nonsense here. And then all kinds of young boys just go and continue oppressing people. What devil? What nonsense? I'm saying it again. Let me announce across this territory that any gentleman, any lady, whether you are here or not, that gets up to manipulate people, boggle their house, I command the earth to fight them from tonight. That some of them will go to bed and lie down and not wake up. The territory should know that God has voices. It's not by coming on TV and making noise. Elijah said there shall be no rain. We need to sanitize this spiritual environment. Halagbara by the mighty God. Hey, But the people, you don't need to know everything about God. You just need to know the dimension of Him revealed to you. I don't boast of knowing everything about God. There are some things about God I totally don't know. But let me tell you, there are dimensions of God that He has shown me by His grace. Your pursuit, if you want to be relevant to a generation, you must know these dimensions of God. Going to church is not enough. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Praying and fasting is not knowing God. There are only tools to help you know God. One of the major reasons why people don't know God is they don't give Him time. Be careful with this I'm busy, I'm busy. You need to give God time to know Him. Our generation, we pray, we fast, we sing. We go to church, but we are unwilling to give God time to know Him. If you see people doing three days fast, there's fire on the mountain. Real fire on the mountain. Lord, where are you? Then the fire goes down and you leave Him. That you sit down and say, Lord, I want to know you. What message do I have to my generation? You must know God. I'm challenging every one of us here. Please tell yourself the truth. And stop allowing people to just clap for you and say, Wow, prayer warrior. Wow, fasting giant. Wow, 
word, word, revelation, signs, signs and wonders producer. And you move around fooling yourself that you know God. And life tests you. And there is nothing about God that you know. It says that I may know him. Pray in one minute and say, Lord, reveal yourself. Reveal yourself to me, O oh God. That I may know you. Lord, I'm tired of ordinary Christianity without power. Show me your glory. Show me your grace. Hallelujah. There are things you must know about God. There are things I know about men. Um, I used to have one. I, 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 cannot, I can't remember who exactly. But there used to be one gentleman years ago. I used to tease him. He looked very powerless as a man. But you don't see any power. You can almost shake him. And I said, if they ever tell me you fought somebody, I won't believe because I know you. I know you enough to know you are not even strong to lift a sizable chair. So if somebody tells you that that guy finished beating one police officer, you just laugh and say, except the anointing came on him. There was something David knew about God that made him stand before Goliath. We stand and face the challenges in life based on the knowledge of God that we have. The armies of Israel had the same weapons that David would later hold. But they could not confront Goliath. There was something Goliath too knew. He was not just big. Goliath was not the only giant in the land. Even among the Israelites, they were also giants. But they stood and Goliath was warring, wicked man. And David said, don't mind him. Carry the sling said i'm going to remove this your head you will fall down i will use your sword cut it and feed the birds goliath said am i a dog he said you will soon know when he wound that thing it was not just his hand winding it there was an anointing and he hit goliath once goliath himself was shot that he fell there was something joshua oh bless his name joshua knew about god and he said go around don't mind all this big mountain for nothing notice that all the challenges are usually very big jericho goliath red sea so don't be surprised when yours is big why will you expect it to be small how then will god be glorified 25 years barrenness are we together there is something you need to know about god that you will stand before a generation and they'll say ma it's two years and you are not pregnant yet he said just wait and all of a sudden by the third year triplets will come nine years in three years and they'll come and say ah, you just gave birth i didn't give birth i manifested miracles don't call that is not delivery you go and try it if you get triplets show me the science of producing triplets i know something about god Where someone threatens you and says, in this office, they bow to me to rise. If you are not willing to bow to me with honorarium of one million and then respect, you are not rising. You know? And everybody above you will say, just this guy is connected to the presidency. And he say, all right, sir, may God bless you. And you go back in the night and do something that will make that man call you in a hurry and sign your document. And you say, just, just for starters, to let you know that there are men and there are men. Are we together? Someone plants a charm to kill you. And he's sleeping in his room. The charm meets him there physically again. Charm said, you sent me. And somebody changed my direction and brought me to the same place. 
I remember years ago, one of our lady went to meet a herbalist in this place. This, this one, a herbalist for something like that. She kept giving him money, was concocting a charm for something. And then the last one now, he now asked for an honorarium of 30,000. I said, her, or he, st he now started calling her number. You better come and fulfill your audition. You have made me start the charm. True story. You will run mad. And she now ran to me, came and confessed his pressure. A and B and C happened. I said, warn that herbal is so. My concern is not the charm, it's his life. Tell him that he should check in the realm of the spirit. You don't speak like that if you have not met God. Because many people have made bold face. When I used to counsel people in area E, some of the protocol people would testify. People will come with a letter. You would think it's mineral they are holding for me until they open it. You will now see that it's a charm. They collected it from one baba and brought it and I said, bring it. I look at it as a nonsense. You ask the charm to come. There is something you need to know. This world is wicked. If all you know is what your eyes have seen, you better start crying. Because there are arrows that fly by day. You, you don't need to offend anybody. Who are your friends? Nonsense. It's a wicked world. You mean this lady is getting married? Ah no, we have to do something. Haba. You mean this man is the one, this young man is the one building this house? No. Ah, ah, ah. You mean is this this young guy PhD? No. It took me 11 years to get PhD. Why will he get PhD in four years? No. You mean this young lady, five children? No way. Our world is wicked. It's not a news. Are we together? Years ago, um, one gentleman that I know got married in Kaduna and then we went then to go and just celebrate with them and while they were bringing the gift true stories i like praying for gifts we noticed i was sitting down and i noticed after everybody had dropped everything the wedding was almost over and then a woman just came with something that looks like a bucket just dropped it i tapped one of my colleagues and said the lord just showed me something we opened that bucket true story and we, you know this bucket you put sugar or semovita white this white bucket we saw it with a stone in the middle I lifted it I said you see this this is fruitfulness blocked that woman will get married now until her husband drives and say we can't marry two men go let me look for a woman and I told them I said you people should just be praying on the other gift just leave me with this one can you confront the gates of darkness and go to bed if they bring a charm for you now and say sorry help me and scatter it please will you say come for koinonia on friday or come and drop it in miracle service say, no 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 apostle is busy bring it and you hold it and without saying any prayer from where you are holding it someone is jumping from their house and saying i won't do it again ah. may god make us a powerful generation all this ministry of just falling down and he said two people will fall the realm of the spirit is higher than that oh you need results shift in people's destiny just falling down and rolling and standing up they that know their god you get up and have a dream and in that dream you see that there's obituary every month in your house you don't sit quietly and then everybody starts dying and you say ah people are dying that's not the time to start disturbing me i say apostle you are sleeping ah prayer department benga promise pastor alpha kenny F no you get up and you say he's not only the god of abraham he's not only the god of isaac you are my god And you announce to Satan and say if you if you near the vicinity of my family again it's a decree it's not pride know when to be a lion and know when to be a lamb no warrior is a lamb in the face of battle 
whoever told you that this world is a playground you must know God greatness is warfare greatness is not just an equation A plus B equals to greatness no sir I say it jokingly only God knows the shrines on earth that my name has gone to maybe your Zaria city any other place oh God let him sleep and not wake up while they finish the charm I just stretch Shabasos Kabarando Kasilia Katar God gives men the power to lay it down and the power to take it up. You must know God. Take the time to know God. You don't know God by a one hour weekly service. No sir. You don't know God by a five minutes Bible study. You don't know God by an occasional fast when there's trouble. You don't know God by a fire brigade closed door retreat. You give God time and say, Lord, I want to know you. I want to know you. I want to see your face. I want to know you, Lord. I want to touch you. I want to hear your voice. I want to love you more. There are many of us tonight, God is calling and saying, Stop this religion and be serious with me. Stop this religion. I'm a deacon in my church. I'm an elder. I'm the chairman of marriage counseling. I am the pastor in charge of choir. I'm no settle down and say lord i want to know you reveal yourself i'm tired of lying and pretending i don't have boldness because i don't know you knowing god is not becoming a pastor listen to my message knowing god experientially god uses experiences to reveal men you can't just know god every experience in your life now is an opportunity to know a dimension of god don't waste it by crying around like a fool say lord there must be something all of a sudden all my money has disappeared to the point that i don't have five naira instead of just saying it's an attack lord there's something you want to show me el shaddai is calling el shaddai he wants to show me that he's the all-sufficient god don't waste your pain don't waste your tears. Use them as an opportunity to know something about God. Apostle have been barren five years. All right. Use the opportunity to know something about God. So that the next time you are saying he can make a way in the wilderness. It's not a song. It's your life. Are we together? Apostle, I had a dream. In that dream, I saw five points. When my result came out, I saw 2.5 cry there is something about God you need to know it is because many people don't know God that's why they don't receive some prayers notice that people receive prayers according to their level of insight about God when you pray and say in the name of Jesus favor amen but when you say in the name of Jesus someone who has no business coming to you I call ah, they just say amen careless amen that doesn't have faith in it because that dimension of God has not been captured let me give us one more and we pray for tonight we'll continue next week contending for generational relevance contending for kingdom relevance those who will reign in this kingdom must be men and women who know God whether you are a businessman, whether you are whatever, you must know God. You know, sometimes, sometimes I counsel people when I travel. And um, while I'm counseling them, the Lord begins to show me something. Like charms that they have in their houses. Or something that they tie on their waist for protection and preservation. And yet they come and sit down as a man of God. You know if you are not powerful 
that thing will fight you in the name of praying for somebody oh god let this guy win chairmanship and that night you sleep and an old man walks you in a dream one word two words be careful and just leaves you and you wake up with headache you don't know where it's coming from and where it is going to you go to the hospital nothing for one week then he comes again say so be careful then the headache stops the next time somebody comes for you to pray for him you say no please go to koinonia when dagon was put face to face with the ark of god the ark didn't remove hands to touch him they came back in the morning and met dagon if he just fell backwards that's not honor it fell face forward may your life from tonight be a threat to the kingdom of darkness listen my prayer for you koinonia hear me is that you don't mock yourself by praying three hours and yet you are afraid of every manifestation of the valley of the shadow of death these boys that scam years ago they sent a text to my phone one i think it's a text they sent to people we are watching you now from where we are and something 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 you are, you are it's like they are threatening you maybe they are watching you through a window somewhere and i, I said look at this they can now lie to you and say go and drop hundred thousand near the green tree near your house and you would think they are really watching you whereas it's a general text they send to everybody fear can create images are we together you have a dream and in the dream dead people are coming to visit you you don't get up and say i saw my father he died 1983 thank god he's your father but what does the living have to do with the dead do you know when you see dead people in your dream i don't mean departed saints now glorified dead people in your dream that's the spirit of the grave that's not the spirit of death that's the, the grave itself has a spirit it's a magnet is calling you like you are invoking that's what is happening you don't get up and say chai nigeria said no what is nigeria shabakatos kalabata oh death where is thy sting oh grave where is thy victory you pray in tongues for five minutes distribute fire everywhere and ask that devil to use the face of your father again it's not your father it is appointed once for men to die the man you see that you are calling your father is not your father he's a devil carrying the face of your father what what father your father is there enjoying in heaven and the devil is using the face of one person come come to us come we are calling you let's go home come and eat yam see palm oil what nonsense is that that's what happens to a lot of people they just get up and an infirmity has entered their spirit they go to the hospital and check again and again and again until they die the living has nothing to do with it. if i see anybody i know who has died if it is of god departed saints in light i know if it is a demon spirit i know there is a gulf what fellowship has light got to do with please i'm teaching you this thing if we dwell just in knowing god those who will stand and represent the purposes of god you need to look at the spirit of death eyeball to eyeball we're coming from 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 lagos and and i think it was because of the weather and the pilots too my god the plane was as if it was it was just playing around i was sleeping ask them i was sleeping ah if it will crash i will enter if i enter it will not crash ah apostle the other i don't know who that other person is and what he believes he said let the redeemed of the lord say so you know in this world don't trouble anybody and nobody will trouble. what nonsense are you saying like that the bible said declare ye that ye might test be justified jesus prophesied that i would die but i will come back if jesus didn't say it he will not resurrect
let him that glory it glory in this please brothers and sisters there are several people here we thank god for the crowds but koinonia god is not just looking for crowds god is looking for quality people that know god not just the uh, man of god pray for me man of god pray for me on everything man of god sing for me man of god worship for me when will you now build capacity to be a blessing it's all right you can start small our little children in this ministry are more spiritual than most of you these little kids you see the fire you stand near them and see the presence that oozes out of them because of the simplicity of their heart they are feeding with the food of adults as children pray they pray fast they fast some of them come to meet me after service my daddy is sick my this is sick i tell them darling bring your hand i place my hand and i say go and lay your hands and truly they will do it but adults they won't do it they'll just say don't don't worry apostle just rub your face with with handkerchief and give it because you are afraid of embarrassment is god speaking to us today by the grace of god and with all humility there are things that i know about god that has brought rest to my life i show you how to be free from worry know god there are things when you know about god when others are crying you are laughing you are not laughing because you are inhuman you are laughing because of a rest that the knowledge of god has given you it was bishop Oyedepo who said one time his wife was pregnant and all of a sudden they noticed she was spotting and then you know medically speaking they said she's lost the baby and he just shouted he said is it a baby you are delivering or blood my dinner please come on now that word maintain that child in that stomach until he gave birth blessed is she that believes for unto her not unto them unto her some of you can be listening to me and say ah man of god wow you can preach well life will not ask you whether you are a preacher the way the devil hates me if i didn't know what i'm telling you now he would have killed me since the devil doesn't want me to backslide he wants me to die So a thousand falls by your right, ten thousand by, by your side, ten thousand by your right side. Ah, ah. Pastor Alpha, you are still standing. I thought people in Kogi State don't rise after certain places. No, 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 no. I come from Zion. Ah, I thought your your father worshipped a shrine. So ah, I, I thought that the ladies in your place don't stay three years after they get married. I thought the men that come from from this state are irresponsible men say i don't know who they are but there's something about the knowledge of god is giving me confidence can anything good come out of nazareth yes sir yes sir please prophesy one minute to yourself i live to praise your name i have no fear of what tomorrow brings I live, I live, I live I live to praise your name I have no fear of what tomorrow revelation of God to stamp the face of fear fear of marriage will I marry will I give birth will I have male and female what if my husband dies and leaves me what if my wife dies and leaves me will I be prosperous will the church grow the revelation of God is the antidote to fear God is love and when love is perfected in you it casts out fear Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Alpha and Omega, my trust is in you. I put them on you. My trust is in you. Sing it with faith in your heart. Lion of Judah, my trust is in you. Trust is in you. 
Continue next week. Hold hands with someone and begin to blast in tongues. Let the realm of the spirit hear your voice. Go ahead and begin to pray. Don't ask anything, just pray. But the people that do know their God, but the people that do know their God. They are God, but the people that do know they are God. I know you are a merciful God. I know you are a restoration God. I know you are a lifting God. I know you are a gracious God. I know you are a mighty God. Alpha, Omega. Hallelujah. Listen. If all you know about God is that He's a merciful God, that dimension itself can take you through your lifetime. If all you know about God is that He can restore, you will never cry when things leave you. If all you know about God is that he's the God of the suddenlies, five minutes to shame, he shows up. Lord, I know you. God is of a miracle world. God is a glorious God. God. I know you was a miracle. God of the sudden list. My brother, my sister, God can wipe the shame of men. He said, have you ever heard this proverb that in one day a woman gives birth? Lift your voice and pray. Lord, I know you. I know you as a miracle worker. I know you as a destiny changer. Change my life. My story change my life wipe my tears take away the shame from my life hey. Hey. hallelujah we are going to sing that song one more time but thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory and the lifter of my head. That's the name that is called. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, my glory and the lifter.
my glory and the lifter of my head. hear me I want you to leave this service standing tall and facing life with confidence where is your confidence coming from seeing that you graduated with a third class I know God but I know whom I have believed there is something about God that I know where is your confidence seeing that you have no earthly father and mother I know God where is your confidence seeing that you do not have any voice like Gideon the least of your father's house but there is a God who can lift me let me give you two prayer points to round up today's meeting hallelujah listen prayer point number one I like you to say father use my life to surprise my generation lift your voice and pray use my life as an object of praise my life anoint me in an unusual way bless me financially in an unusual way lift me in an unusual way surprise the naysayers surprise those who have concluded about my life over my life hallelujah number two Lord by your mercy reveal yourself to me please pray everyone that ask it receive it lord i've been crying for marriage for money for prosperity for anointing but reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me Reveal yourself. Pray. Just a few minutes and we're done.
the name of Jesus every fear fear of the future every fear fear of failure every fear fear of not making it I command that spirit to leave you now and forever listen I speak to someone's life and destiny that you who is seen as a rejected stone they've concluded on you in your family they've even called you names that depict you as being a failure but in the name of Jesus out of that ashes of shame out of that ashes of disappointment out of that ashes of being a non-entity may the hand of the Lord pick you and shoot you like a star for everyone to see I'm praying I don't know who has concluded about your destiny men sit down and discuss you and they even laugh it's true that Jesus died but he only died for three days he didn't die forever rejoice not over me my enemies though I fall while you are discussing my fall yet I rise again I command the grace for resurrection arise from shame arise from pain arise from disappointment hear me some of you are in ministry here and you've not seen the grace of God and you are about to give up did God really call me if he called me why am I not getting the kind of apostles result I bring you a word of hope be patient with God oh because in the midst of that ashes of pain and disappointment and two members is a transgenerational anointing don't be too quick to give up on God God called you to the ministry of kingdom financing but as it is now you don't even have transport back after koinonia and every time you tell people they laugh at you brothers and sisters let me tell you God my God look what he's done with my life God is a lifter God is a blesser God is a surpriser don't let no devil sit down and compartmentalize you you are from this tribe you are from this place oh all you have is a diploma not a master's all you have is a degree not a PhD or you don't have any godfather anywhere what rubbish is that have you not learned that with God with God with God without God some things are not possible but when he comes into the equation with God without God I cannot rise up without God I cannot prosper but with God when he holds your hands and said son let's go don't be afraid of the giants that stand no Hear me. the Lord is comforting many of us there are giants on everyone's mountain you are not the only one with giants when you watch people laugh it's because they have learned how to keep Goliath down now thanks be to God who causes us always successful people are not people without challenges they are people who have mastered the art of victory they know when to dance when others are crying they know when to speak when others are quiet ah. they know when to cry before God when others are crying before men they know when to sacrifice when others are withholding they know when to stay when others are going This ministry you see thank God for the results that you see and hear but it's not luck there is something about God you know that your results can be predictable there's no ah apostle be careful what if tomorrow there's no result which God are you talking about now
return back to your homes tonight with an appetite to know God you can use some time this weekend or at least before we continue next week there are other things to teach you but please go back and sit down and ask yourself am I just a church goer am I just a prayer man am I just a Bible study Christian or do I know God when challenges stand before me what name of God do I know that I can call when all my enemies surround me and it's obvious they are going to defeat me what do I know about God that turns the hand of things thank you oh my father for giving us your son your spirit until the work on earth is done. Sing it one more time and we are done for tonight. Thank you, oh my Father, for giving us, for giving us your light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you John 1 verse 5 the light shines in darkness arise shine the light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you I will arise and shine Arise, my light is come, and the glory of the Lord, the glory of the Lord is risen upon me. Give us Isaiah 60 verse 1. If we can get it in Amplified, that's wonderful, otherwise no problem. Amplified says this, it says, Arise from the depression and the prostration that situations and circumstances have kept you. It says, Rise to a new light. Arise from the depression and circumstance and prostration in which circumstances have kept you. Rise to a new life. Then it says, Shine, be radiant with the glory of God. Let me tell you something. There is an information that when you catch, you can start laughing at your challenges. You will not even pray about it again. It will turn to laughter because you know that that truth will squeeze it into pieces. I tell you this. Hallelujah. Ah. Jehovah will be your everlasting light. He'll be your glory, your strength and your sight. The light of the moon will be like the light of the sun. And the light of the sun will shine seven times as bright. When Yahweh binds up the wounds of this world, heals all the bruises inflicted by this world. Truth. There are things I found in my life about ministry. There are things I found in my life about the anointing. When I found them, I jumped. Jumped. Bishop Oyedeko will tell you that light broke and he screamed and turned and said, yeah, I will never be poor again. There are other people who have caught certain things and they screamed and said, I will never be a mediocre again. What have you found? I found your word and I did eat it. It was a joy and a rejoicing. He said, my son, eat thou honey. When you find this thing, they are alive to those who find them. Not to Christians. There is something you can find Believe me, brothers and sisters, if you have not found it, you will think those who are talking are arrogant people. There are people who have found things. The Bible says the kingdom of God is like a man who had a treasure and it was missing. For as long as it was missing, that man was redundant and then he took light and then he started checking it. Are we together? 
could it be that there is an information that you need to know about god about life about yourself it was gideon who was hiding because there was an information he did not know and all of a sudden the angel appears and says in case you do not know here is an information you are a mighty man of valor and gideon said nobody has told me this i am the least in my father's family and we are the least in the tribe and that man arose from that revelation i'm working in power working in miracles i live a life of favor i know who i am i'm working in power working in miracles i live a life of favor i know who i am everybody sing say name of Jesus shout it say it again in the name of Jesus the days of ignorance are over in my life prophesy say the days of ignorance the days of lies the days of deception are over in my life lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord I entertain your light there is something you can know about you that will bring you into the anointing there is something your mother told you growing up. You are a failure. But hear the truth. Hear the truth. There is something Africa is speaking to you. That we are a third world nation. But in the name of Jesus I declare. I believe the truth. I believe the truth. No more lies in my life. Everything that is not consistent with the word of God, I refuse to believe it. Why we look not at the things that are seen, but the things that are unseen. For the things that are seen are temporal, subject to change. Hallelujah. Please sit down. So they may look at you and say, Sister, you are getting to 40, no husband. Will you ever marry? That's their information. You see, when you introduce Jesus to the situation, the calculation changes. Uh -uh. Something that should be zero. Just because you introduce the reality, everything changes. The psalmist said, I had fainted, but God. I had fainted. I knew that I was over all. But God, when they brought him into the situation, it changed everything. Stop listening to lies. There are lies on TV. Are you hearing what I'm saying? There are lies that we hear on newspapers. Oh, stop tithing. All those men of God are out to collect your money. It's with your money they used to buy clothes and they rob you and you listen to a lie and stay back and authorize Satan to destroy you. Our society is full of lies. People make money through lies. Jesus, the truth. There were many things. I didn't see many successful people in my life growing up. Those who were successful were very far from me. Culturally speaking, societally speaking, there was a mindset that was communicated. But when I began to search the word goodness, I found another report. A report I was not born with. And all of a sudden, Jesus said, Verily, verily, I say unto you, He that believeth on me. You know, today we took a stroll, um, myself and the head of protocol, after we went to greet a bereaved family, we went somewhere and I was taking them inside the campus and I decided to take a tour of the new structures they are building. And while I started passing some sites around the dam and down my eyes were almost, I was trying to fight tears. Do you know why? Because I saw locations where years ago I sat down. 
to study the truth I passed one place a botanical garden on your way to the dam I used to enter that corner and smuggle myself through somewhere and sit down broke but had access to the truth a failure and a mediocre but had access to the truth and this Bible God gave me an assurance with the word if you believe me I will not play games with you and I was stupid enough to believe I said Lord after all by default I don't even have much so if I don't believe you I don't have any option ah look what is made in my life listen if you choose to believe the truth he will change you they've lied to you that your life is not doing well just because um, there is there is uh, there is something you are not you know you need to go and connect to this you need to do that I believe in favor but favor is only when it comes from God through men not from men if you don't give 150,000 to so 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 person in federal ministry of this you will never get a job that's how we do it you are not part of the we and you find out and the Bible says that when a man's ways pleases the Lord that's the truth that he makes even his enemies to be at peace with him are we together listen the part of scripture you find and believe is the part that works for you you can see two people operating on different dimensions of realities is the part you find i have found from this word listen and i don't want you to be offended by what i'm saying but i found from this word that it is possible for a man to fulfill his days i found it i used to fear death i think it's one of the things we all fear because the teaching I got about death was that any day can meet you anytime. And it looked like a very sincere talk until I searched. I said, God, but how can I live my entire life being afraid? I'm going to live a life traveling all the time. Right? I'm in the air, I'm on road in the morning, in the afternoon. There are armed robbers, weather conditions. What is the guarantee that I'm going? I mean, I can't live my life. I'm going for a crusade somewhere and I'm afraid. I want to go and heal the sick, cast out demons. But me, the man of God that God will use, you are now afraid whether you arrive safely. As soon as you arrive, your heart returns back and you are like, hey, thank you, Jesus. What is torturous way of living? But there is a truth. Ha! There is something you can hold and dear death, you look at it in the face and say, oh, death, where is thy sting? Now, you see, until you have caught that truth, don't make mouth. This is the problem. We talk nonsense in church and say all kinds of things and become victims. It is the encounter of the burning bush that qualifies you to stand before Pharaoh. When you have seen the burning bush, you can stand before Pharaoh and say, Hey, Pharaoh, stop oppressing God's people. Because Pharaoh will not let you go just because you can speak English. Jesus, the truth. Let me tell you something life will dare you to your face it will take the truth to build a world of fortification are you hearing what i'm saying i believe the word of god that's why we are gathered here tonight this is called a miracle service there is no guarantee anywhere that anybody will be healed there is no guarantee anywhere that devils will be casted out let me tell you, without understanding the truth, any action you take is arrogance. You make a fool out of yourself. What is the guarantee that in the next few minutes, the Lord is going to step in and begin to produce miracles in the lives of people? Is the truth. As at morning, when they were fixing this place, what was the guarantee that people were going to come and all the seats will be filled? What was the guarantee that people will be following us from over 45 nations of the world? Is the truth. There is an information you know. The power of God. That I believe you, oh God, and I'm ready to follow. You will not lie to me. I believe you. You are not a man that you should lie. Not the son of man. I don't doubt him. I believe you. My experiences notwithstanding, I still believe you. Number three, Jesus, the life. Hmm. In 
a revelation of his power and his ability to make alive Jesus the life John 11 verse 25 to 26 an event happened there Lazarus was a man who had died three days and then Jesus said he sleepeth and they were going to go and resurrect him and when they went they saw his sisters crying now this was talking about physical death but it applies to every area watch this death does not just mean cessation of breathing it means cessation of life many of us are experiencing death in different areas of our lives when an organ fails that's death are we together the sons of the prophet were eating a meal and they looked and said ah there is death in this food and Jesus said to her I am what what is resurrection bringing back to life something that is not supposed to have life again hallelujah that for me is the definition of hope 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 bringing back to life a dream that should not come alive again bringing back to life a destiny that should not come alive i live my life drinking and smoking is there hope for me jesus is called the resurrection i should have done well with my life but i'm 70 years now how many more years do i have when the resurrection comes he can bring back to life are we together i should have been a phd holder now but so 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 and so happened to me when the resurrection comes listen to me jesus has the power to make things that are dead in our lives come alive this is good news are we together so the bible says rejoice not over me my enemies you know my fall but you have forgotten that there is a mystery of resurrection rejoice not over me yes i know for now i do not have a job i lost my job yes i know that this and that may have happened in my life but there is jesus the life he can put life back he can put life back let me show you something the bible says very interesting well let's finish it i am the resurrection and the life he that believeth in me although his kidney were dead he can come alive he that believeth on me although his finances were dead he can come alive do you know that hopelessness is is one of the major causes of depression in our society you know what hopelessness is a perception that there is no press to anything that is worth producing any result again and people just give up society is full of angry people who just walk around and say look there's no hope no hope for this child no hope for this no hope for me again no i'm already past menopause no child let me just agree that i will never have a child in my life listen to what the bible says job chapter 14 please give it to us 7 to 9 job chapter 14 read it with me please one to read for there is hope for a tree for there is hope for joshua selman for there is hope for any life are you hearing what i'm saying for there is hope in spite of that medical report humanly speaking you should put your house in order ask hezekiah when a true prophet came and said hezekiah i've heard from god when a man hears from god who else do you consult but hezekiah said no way i know this mystery there is resurrection there is life there is hope he turned his face and said god let's talk i know isaiah is your prophet but i'm your child too let's talk remember now come on god don't act as if you ignore me like that and god said ah, 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 ah. he has compelled a dimension listen let me tell you tonight you have to insist for some things to come back to life don't go some of you don't even pray over some things again because in your mind you have concluded it's over that business will never come alive you just give glory to god it's over it has gone 
that destiny will never come alive but it's okay i already know that i would never walk again my leg can't walk so my focus now is to just succeed i am the resurrection and the life it says for there is hope for a tree if it be what cut down i like that word cut down not rooted out cut down means the root is still connected the mistake the enemy made was to still leave you loving God I, I, I know you lost you lost joy you lost peace you made a mistake I know you now have a baby it should not be but the mistake was that you were cut down not rooted out and the Bible says that it will what sprout again talk to me agriculturists that you know that you can cut a tree and children can even put satellite dish on the tree yet it still starts growing have you seen a tree that they use for pole wire it doesn't stop the tree from growing hey. i hear the joy coming hey i hear the breakthrough coming I hear the sound coming Sound of abundance and joy I see the lifting coming yeah. Hold on Listen I tell you that the, the anointing of God is strong upon me Sit down, sit down, sit down Give us that scripture again Give us that scripture Because God wants to make a statement with this miracle service tonight he says for there is hope everybody say there is hope let the devil hear you let all the people who have sat down together in a meeting and say will she ever rise with this carryover with 11 carryovers will you ever rise the bible says there is hope for a tree there is hope for a tree It says that it will sprout again and that the tender branch will not cease we're reading to verse 9 though the root thereof be wax old in the earth and the stalk thereof die in the ground verse 9 yet hold on it didn't say through the arrival of water the scent proximity to life proximity to life the moment you come into a place where there is life it has not touched you yet your roots resonating with life listen listen those of you who have done physics there's something they call resonance is that true that when you use a tuning fork and hit at a frequency every other object within that frequency answers to it you were designed by the life-giving spirit so when satan tries to bring death and then you are seated somewhere you come into an environment where there's life deep starts calling on to deep your dream starts telling you i'm ready to come back to life forget the fact that i failed rejoice not over me my enemy we live in a society who are experts at burying people before they die Ah, look at this mama nine children all useless and she's coming for koinonia and they say keep going mama tonight the resurrection and the life the resurrection and the life hear me how about a man of god you know god called you you know he anointed you but truly you have not seen increase not in your life oh god well with the anointing come or maybe you were once anointed and something happened in your life and things went down and listen it is true that jesus died but did he die forever he died only for three days while he had resurrected men were still talking about his death could it be hold on could it be that some of you while you are in this meeting now other people are talking about your past life they don't know resurrection is happening they are still sitting discussing yesterday so every time they look at her they say i know this lady oh this lady is the most nonsense lady in our environment you were right but ask rahab shabbatos kotapriata hmm. listen do you know why god instructed 
that they killed everybody in Jericho. He did not want anyone who knew Rahab's past to be part of those who follow her because she would be part of the lineage of Jesus. Listen, when God wants to make nonsense of Satan, he will keep quiet and allow men finish tearing you down. Sometimes you can even join them and tear yourself. And then when he's done, he says, let me now show you the expertise. Let me show you what makes me God. And he starts building. Many people conclude on men because they don't know God. This God we serve. Are we together? I always use promises. Promise, come, 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 come. With all my heart, you would have concluded this guy was a capon in black acts. Are we together? Years ago, with dreadlocks, he came to Zaria with dreadlocks and earrings. He was an occultist of the highest order, a territorial commander. He ran away because they were about to imprison him. But brothers and sisters, rejoice not over me, my enemy. No, 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 help them under the anointing, please. You would have concluded that this brother will never become a because our big mouth in society we are experts at talking about people but while they were talking about Saul God was seeing Paul ah. apostle but I don't even know who my father is I'm not sure they told me that fair woman is my mother that's the kind of background I came from don't worry the God of Israel is an expert look at his life now a fiery man of God with grace and power and anointing hallelujah they had concluded on Zacchaeus you are a thief you are a fraudster you are an armed robber and when God was going he had to climb the tree and God said come down Zacchaeus it's your house I'm going let me show you that I'm, I'm going to your house and at once Zacchaeus said I will repay everybody and Zacchaeus completely changed hear me I came to preach to someone tonight there is a dimension of Jesus called Jesus the life the life the life Jesus the life Jesus the life Jesus the life, Jesus the life. that everything that has died in a man's life can come alive even time can come alive that's the God that we serve hear me you have come tonight some of us from far some of us from several things and you have come to encounter Jesus the life the life giving spirit he can put life back to your finances and the money you lost 10 years combined in one month can return to you listen 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 please let's not make this thing look as if we are acting we're talking about god here apostle but this is 10 years no child and they told me that there are all kinds of cyst and growth in my stomach and then when the resurrection comes he all of a sudden first child triplets second child twins you say god stop he says stop what my name again that child one three two one registers his name the years that the canker worm has eaten hear me hear me mordecai mordecai did something that was good and he was his testimony was archived in a book and dropped quietly you see ba there is a day God gets angry and vows by his name. I have seen this, truly speaking, that God vows a vow, read it through scripture, that he wants to lift a man. When God vows a vow to lift a man, I tell you, not even your personal faith will stop you. There is such a thing that God can say, the appointed time is come. I've seen people lifted overnight. And frankly speaking, sometimes they've not even understood certain principles. 
God just vowed with his name tonight I want your faith to be please look listen you have come before God this is not a cinema to watch film you have come with your heart open I want you to insist tonight all these three dimensions are dimensions that for a taking but I perceive that one of the greatest dimensions we need is life there is too much death there is too much death in people's life dead organs hold on listen there are people here they can't walk 10 minutes a young man 25 35 you walk 10 minutes you breathe as if you would die they go to the hospital and say mr man almost everything we see is wrong you need life oh you need life there are many ladies here with all kinds of lumps all kinds of demonic things satan attempting to put another life because there are many kinds of life but when his life comes when his life comes there are destinies you look at them like walking corpses you know everything is there no favor no open doors there are many men here you are hard working but there is no life you are just a body walking sweating toiling the cause of hardship from morning till night living from hand to mouth the key is not promotion the key is life life to draw from you again hey, hey. To drink from you again yeah. To drink from you again yeah. Yeah. We've come to the road working out the same tonight I insist lift your voice and pray Lord I can't go back the way I came I place a demand a demand on your anointing Prayer point number two change my level, oh God. Change the dimensions. Take me to another level. Ipata, 
Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. There's a lot to do tonight. We're going to do it in this order. I'm going to take the altar call now. And then tonight we're going to start with the sick. I just sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Hallelujah. Now, quickly, let me have your attention. My God, the power of God is so strong, so strong. I already see activities of angels. You are in this place inside outside any of the overflows one two three four by the roadside i told you that the cure for the challenges of men is an encounter with jesus and there are people here some of you may be visiting for the first time but you know that you need jesus genuinely not just as a religious philosophy you truly need jesus christ some of you at one point you handed your life over to him but things went haywire and right now you know that you need to run like there's fire on the mountain overflow one overflow two i'm going to count one to five please clear the way for them i want you to run as though you are thirsty and they told you where water is leave your seat right now and run whether you are inside or outside i'll count one to five keep standing one koinonia celebrate them Two, are you running? Run to Jesus. Lord, I'm tired of my life. Tired of the way things have been. I can't pretend it. I'm running to you now. Three, celebrate them. Are you running? Leave your seat. Break your pride and run. I need Jesus in my life. I need Jesus in my life. This is a, a matter of urgency. This is no pretense. This is no church. I need Jesus in my life. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. Run! No turning back. Have you decided to follow Jesus? No turning back. No turning back. One more time. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back. Turning back, I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. I'm seeing three people in overflow three there, and the Holy Spirit is telling me they are supposed to be part of these people. Overflow three, please quickly. There's so much to do. There are three people I'm seeing in overflow, three outside. And the Lord is telling me they should be there. Don't allow your friends stop you. I'm still going to give one more minute. One more minute. As the Holy Spirit is convicting you, you're saying, I want to come, but I'm a bit shy. Run, make your way quickly. Come and join us. Come and join us. hallelujah look at me please let them come and join those of you in front please look at me i salute you this is serious business here please there's there's nothing to be ashamed of hold on hold on now you see when most people give their lives to christ they come in 
emotionally and some are not even serious they come laughing pinching themselves lord jesus and they are laughing and not serious this jesus business is life we're not talking about a certificate we're not talking about a husband or wife the bible says the name of the lord is a strong tower please hear me as you are here make sure that your decision is genuine no one condemns you but i want you to mean it please don't don't play games with god this is the god of heaven i want you to say this from the depth of your heart all of you in front here and those joining quickly if you are joining them make your way to the front say this passionately and truly say lord jesus say it again lord jesus some of you are not saying it say it one more time lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god i believe that you died for me i believe that you shed your blood for my sin i believe that you resurrected for me this night i have heard your word and i declare that i need you in my life i hand over my life to you from now and forever i receive eternal life into my spirit i declare that from today i am a child of god satan you had my confession stay away from my life forever in the name of jesus let me pray for you now jesus we present to you the ones you died for when you hung upon that cross you saw them and they were worth your blood your tears and your death i ask oh god by the power of your spirit that you preserve them let this not be an emotional decision i pray sincerely that today will become the beginning of a new season of your grace your power your mercy upon their lives i declare your sins forgiven i declare and declare that from today you walk in newness of life I set you free from everything that holds you down in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. I congratulate all of you for making this most noble decision. Never forget this day. Never forget this day. Hallelujah. Praise God. Now, I will ask you to do something very quickly and then you come back and join the service. I want you to follow who is waving his hands. Follow that gentleman waving his hands and they will lead you out and there are a number of people who will welcome you have your details please cooperate with them and uh, all the people attending to them let's make it fast so that they can return back please politely follow them they'll ask for your details cooperate with them everyone this way let's honor them as they go very quickly hallelujah can we help them let's make it fast now we're going to do it this way um, I'm going to start praying for the sick right, right away. We're going to pray for the sick now so that we can take out time. Um, let's deal with the sick first. I already sense a very strong manifestation of the healing anointing. Lady, look at me. The Lord is asking me to stretch my hands. I command that devil. Let her go now. You heard her confession. I curse you by the God of heaven. I released you now. I'm seeing this lady tied snakes from her leg to her head. I set you free. This is Koinonia, the place of encounter. I decree and declare that from today you are set free. And there's something I'm seeing in your stomach. I decree and declare that it leaves you right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, we're going to pray. Uh, there are certain cases I want to deal with by myself tonight. Um, any case please listen any case whether you are in any of the overflows please i will pray for people overflow one i want you to march to your overflow those who are trusting god you came here with for yourself or for your loved ones um but let's do it this way all those who are trusting god for the fruit of the womb if you have an issue with barrenness or a blood related disease hiv cancer or any deadly disease whether you are in the overflow outside or what please come in 
and I want to minister to you myself. Hallelujah. That doesn't mean, please listen, listen. It doesn't mean if I'm not the one ministering to you, you will not be blessed. The anointing on me is upon everyone who will be standing to minister to you. Are we together now? So let's not have a rowdy um, a crowd there. So overflow one, I like all of you who are trusting God to be prayed for. Please, I want you to move to your projector stands. Overflow two, um, overflow three. Those online connect by faith. And um, we are going to be praying for you. Those inside, make your way very quickly. The special cases that I ask, make your way quickly, quickly, please. We have to be very fast. There's a lot to do. The reason why we take our time to minister to people like this is because God has anointed us for this reason. Hallelujah. God has anointed us. It's a privilege to carry his anointing. And we must take our time to release blessings to God's people. Make your way quickly. Look how many people need the touch of God. What a joy and a blessing to have the anointing and the ability to touch people. Can we all pray as a family whilst they are coming and ask the Lord to touch and heal and bless everyone? Lift your voice and pray. Everyone, lift your voice. Lift your voice, pray. It's a miracle service. Please, those that are coming in from outside, make sure it's only blood-related diseases, terminal diseases, terminal diseases. Otherwise, you can just wait at your projector stand and then they'll pray for you. Father, you have anointed, you have anointed us in this place. You have anointed this house to be a tabernacle of miracles. Lord, you have produced untold testimonies. It's a privilege to be extensions of your hand again, ministering to the needs of your people. It is your desire that in every territory, there must be a place where men and women can find the power of God at work. And Lord, thank you for making this such a place. Tonight, we pray that there will be abundance, abundance of your anointing in the name of jesus tonight is serious business i really perceive that there is need to minister to people we're going to have um some of our leaders stationed in various places please i want you to trust the anointing upon them as they come to minister i'm going to just make contact with them um there will at least be two two at different different points and then we're going to pray praise the lord we'll make it very very fast and trust god to minister to you please come um pastor femi Ejimi, pastor alpha west benga promise how many of you i think we need eight people i have to lay hands on you because i sense that we need we need a, a great one two three four five uh michael come one of these days we'll begin to train other people and help the, the idea is to help and build people um, might leave the keyboard um, someone else can play the keyboard you can come this is an opportunity we're going to lay hands and then we're going to trust God um, Shade will you be strong come she's always had the healing anointing you have the strength please come this lady you see it's a compendium of the healing power of God and um, so we're going to pray I think this is okay we're going to pray please those outside if, if they don't ask you uh, if they are prophesying to you it's a different thing if they are giving you a word of knowledge it's alright otherwise you don't have to start talking talking and doing all of this Lord we agree right now in Jesus name my God there's such anointing on my hands as they lay hands on the people Lord I decree and declare let your power flow in such dimension in such magnitude in the name of Jesus Christ let the anointing of the Holy Spirit come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ by the power of the Holy Spirit. Let the fire of God come upon you in the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that you will carry the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Um, Shade and Promise will go to the overflow outside here by the road. Shade and Promise, Benga and um, Femi, this overflow. And then Mike and Pastor Alpha will be at the overflow overflow three now um Ejimi will be with me here pastor alpha um huh? 
Okay, two of you are there. Okay, fine. Who is left? Michael. Okay, they join them outside this overflow here. And then we'll walk with a Jimmy inside here. Praise the Lord. Lord, we decree and declare, let there be miracles right now. Let there be signs. Let there be wonders. In the name of Jesus, let there be such a strong move of the Spirit. Let the sick be healed. While this is happening, please, um, I want you, if you need to make calls and ask your loved ones to submit their prayer requests, let's do that very quickly. We're trying to conserve time as well as maximize the grace that is available. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you all the praise. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. So we we'll pray for you now. I want you to trust God for miracles. Trust God for miracles. Insist that God must give you a miracle. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. As we worship in your presence, there is healing. The Holy Spirit gentle touch is flowing. Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. I believe. Jesus. There is healing in your name. As we worship. As we worship in your presence. There is healing. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle touch is flowing. It's flowing. Jesus, Jesus, I believe. I believe. Jesus, Jesus, there is healing in your name. There is healing in your name. The Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit, gentle, gentle touch, touch is flowing. Is
I want you to believe that there is no power holding on to your destiny that will go back with you. Please believe this night. There are strange spirits that are responsible for the sufferings. You see this dear lady? This lady came all the way from Lagos. Had to resign her job to come here because she was tired of what was happening in her life. It's not just about employment. Came here. This lady came, I think it was last week, all the way. Because she was nothing at all. She was employed, but oppression after oppression. There's somebody in the congregation. I'm, I'm seeing like... Uh, the Lord is opening my eyes. This is strange. And I don't know what it is that I'm seeing that has to do with elephants. I'm seeing an elephant. And I'm seeing like fire coming. This is a deliverance for someone in the congregation now as I'm talking. Um, I'm praying for the sick, but we're going to minister to other needs. But right now, the Lord is asking me to minister to such a person. So I'm declaring right now that every manipulation of spirits that resonates with what the Lord showed me, Right now, from here, I decree and declare there is no peace for the wicked. I command judgment right now in the name of Jesus Christ on such a person, wherever you are in this congregation, I decree and declare right now that the power of God touches you right where you are. Right where you are. Right where you are in the name of Jesus. Right where you are. Right where you are in the name of Jesus. I'm seeing someone at the minister's stand. The minister's stand. I'm seeing something like an arrow shooting out of your body. Lord, in the name of Jesus, whoever that person is, it must go now. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, every strange devil, every strange spirit, we decree and declare that this environment is completely not conducive, completely not conducive in the name of Jesus. I want you to look at this. Look at look at what look at what the devil can do. This is a human being's face. Mama, come. Madam, is this her mother? Mommy, come. How long has this been? This is one year now. A year one plus. Year. A year plus, yes. Her face just started swelling. It started bleeding from the nose. And before you know, it's her, one of her, this her eyes I out. prayed for her the last time. Yes. You see it going down? Yes, I see it you going You see it from the last time? Yes. Who was there when you saw yes. the last time? It's going down. You see it going down now? Yes. I prophesy that in the name of Jesus Christ, right now, that the way this thing has started going down, it must go down normally. And hear me. Mama, any human agent that is responsible for this thing happening, are we together? If I am a man of God, that person must die this night. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because I'm looking at you. Hold on. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing the face of a woman. And I'm seeing a woman sitting on the ground. On ground like enchantment. I say it again. Whoever is responsible for terminating, attempting to terminate the destiny of this lady by the God of heaven, May the ground open and swallow her now. Hallelujah. God bless you. See, let me tell you something, brothers and sisters. Wickedness is very, very real. Very real. Very, very real. Very, very real. I want you to lift your voice in one minute and say, Father, judgment tonight. Pray. Lift your voice. Shabakato soto bakata Lembrekete kata tata Reketo sepekeriata Everything that must give way For the next level of my destiny to be open I command it so Now By the power of the Holy Ghost Pray inside, pray outside Pray By the anointing of the Holy Ghost Pray Shaka toko 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 kes Rekete kete kata bada 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 bas Mata kato shepre kete Lente pre keta basha barada barada bada bas Le keta pros kata baranda kapras kata bada tos Are you praying? Make sure you are praying
let her go now. Out! 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 I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. I see the rain of your love. I feel the wind of your spirit. Now the heartbeat of heaven. Let us hear. So let it rain. Let it really going to pray seriously right now um, I've been seeing a lot of visions while praying for the sick hallelujah there are, there are many many demons that must go many not few many oppressed all kinds of um, strange strange demons bring this girl come bring her I'm seeing a spirit bring her let her go now Victory belongs to Jesus. Listen, hear me. Now, we are going to pray serious. That's why I took out time to maximize the healing anointing because um, we want to finish fast. We have leaders meeting. However, um, now that we have dropped this, please just focus. You have prayed now. Let me minister to you. Praise God. Stand up, please, everybody. We have to pray. These are the wicked spirits that are responsible for families families tonight i see an uprooting i tell you listen i want you to stand because i'm seeing people running out now by the spirit not like wanting to run away the spirit running with them that's why i'm saying i'm i'm asking the people to stand we're going to pray please listen i want you to believe the forces that tie your life tie your destiny it's time for us to pray it's time for us to agree are we together i want you to cooperate with me and let's pray they are strange spirits you will bring them out some don't be embarrassed this this has to do with families this has to do with individuals are we together now are we together yes we are going to pray i'm seeing like a ghana must go and i'm seeing it tied in the spirit whose destiny is that oh god it's time to be loose now bring them out Please, I need strings, strings of the flowing sound, please. Bring them out. Shake it, take it up. Braka doso toba shata. At his word, every demon, every devil. There's no hiding place for any power of darkness. I decree and I declare in the name of Jesus. Bracato shoto preketeli abada. Hallelujah. Please hold your hands together. I want to pray a prayer. You are going to help your neighbor now. Something strange is going to happen to people. I want to pray because I'm seeing like fire passing from people to people. This this contact must be maximum. Lord, I pray. Anyone who is a victim of any oppression, as this fire passes now, in the name of Jesus. Once you see your neighbor manifesting, please let them come. In the name of Jesus, I release that fire right now. From road to road, from people to people, from road to road, inside, outside. I command every stranger, every stranger, every stranger, in the name of Jesus, every stranger, outside, overflow one. Overflow two, overflow three, online. I cost that devil right now. That fire is burning. That fire is burning. Every principality, every power. Shaka ta 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 ta. Outside, mighty deliverances. 
outside from road to road the power of God is setting people free it's time for yokes of captivity to give way it's time for age long captivities to give way Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Just do what I'm telling you to do. Say in the name of Jesus. Every yoke of delay over my life, over my family, be judged now. Now watch what happens to you. I decree and declare, anyone with such yoke, I command judgment now. Judgment now, now, on those forces. Let them go now. Let them go now. Let them go now. lift your hands tonight I trust God for an extensive time of deliverance listen the Lord is opening my eyes and I'm seeing snakes this is what I'm seeing coming out from holes anyone here tied by any spirit they come to you in the night to sleep with you fire at the count of three one two three Right now, visitors of the night, strangers of men's destinies, I judge you by the God of heaven. Inside and outside, I judge you by the God of heaven. Hallelujah. Please put your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. Sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very serious prayer right now. Sisters, lift your hands. If there is anyone here having any spirit molest you in dreams, appearing as men, appearing as women, appearing as animals, at the count of three, as you shout Jesus, Jesus the life is destroying any death. Are you ready? One, two, three. I command those devils, those strangers, strangers, powers of witchcraft, molesting people, the daughters of Zion. I curse you. I curse your covenant. Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Say Every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken You wear the victor's crown You overcome You overcome Hallelujah I saw what I'm seeing now in much miracle service and the Lord is asking me to stretch my hands I'm seeing padlocks that's what I'm seeing this is representing men's destinies nothing is happening in your life you are not lazy but doors have refused to open right now at the count of three I want everyone to shout Jesus as loud as you can some of you will literally be caught up in visions and you will see the doors of your destinies open Right now, oh God, I declare that every padlock over any man's destiny, over any man's life, at the count of three, they are open. One, two, three. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Be open. Destiny. Open up.
Alléluia. The Lord is asking me to take away the spirit of death over families. Listen. You may not even know, but I want you to believe. I want to pray for you. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. Death is a spirit. I'm speaking now. Death is a spirit. Oh, death, where is your sting? Right now, I'm seeing at least 47. I'm seeing the number 47. Every family with death hanging over them. Fire. 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 Upon every family, fire, fire, the spirit of death broken. Hallelujah. Can I pass through the crowd for a moment? I want God to do a quick walk. Please listen. I don't do these things out of religion. It is the presence of God. The presence of God. I don't have time and there's no opportunity to lay hands on anyone. But listen. I just come across your role. I just want you to believe. Listen. Except it is not the spirit of God. But any other strange spirit aside from God, regardless of what it is and what is causing in your life, it must give way right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, just play me. Father, in the name of Jesus. Listen, please, I want you to believe. This is not about human washing. But as I pass your road, I'm seeing fire on my left and right. Tonight is the ministry of fire and like a wildfire it will pass you and begin to consume things some of you as i pass that physical fire that heat lord let it be right now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ take it here that fire fire judging everything judging every evil from every row, row to row, row to row, row to row, that fire right now, every witchcraft, every power, every witchcraft, every power, tying anyone, someone's womb is being loose now, someone's womb is being loose, someone's womb is being loose, in the name of Jesus Christ, can I go out, is it, is it possible, those outside lift your voice and pray, lift your voice and pray, Hallelujah. Please, quickly, we're out of time. We have to conserve time. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, all of you right here, through this place, I'm looking and I'm seeing change in the spirit. And as I pass this overflow, please, I want you to believe that every captivity must come to end. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? It must come to end. Father, I give you all the praise right now. Right now. A chain is leaving somebody here. A chain, a chain, a chain, a chain. Go, go, go. Now, 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 now. Chains, 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 chains. I break it now. Break it now. I break it now. I break it now. I break it. In the name of Jesus. You don't have to touch me. Just be. There's somebody here. The yoke of delay is breaking now, now. Now, now it's breaking now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Breaking now, break now, breaking now, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, breaking now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, 
I'm seeing a cloud on this place. I release that fire. It's breaking now. Right, right, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, help them, help them. Please hold them. Elisha, 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 who is that, Elisha, where are you coming from, maybe you, sir. maybe you, maybe you here, yes. I want to pray for you, the Lord wants to give you and your family breakthrough, yes. Elisha, I wish we had time, but in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm declaring. What's your name? My daddy's name is Elisha. Your daddy's name is Elisha. That's all right. I'll pray for you. Why are you here? You are Elisha. Look at me. I want you to believe in the prayer. I'm going to pray for you. God is going to give you strength in your peace. Amen. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. Hold on. I'm seeing like a shrine on fire. And that fire in that shrine will manifest physically over somebody's life. It's time for this family to be set free. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. It's time to be set free. It's time to be set free. Elisha, I pray for you. Now hold my hands. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare something is leaving you now. As I'm holding your hands, I'm seeing something leaving you. Let it go for you and your family. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your dad needs breakthrough. I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. The Lord brings that breakthrough right now. Please, if we can get some of the people outside, make sure everyone is protected under the canopy. Otherwise, let's see how we can squeeze some of them inside. Even if it's just for the sake of um, when the rain minimizes, they can go out. Please, make sure nobody is standing in the rain. Those standing at the edges of the canopies, we can allow them to come in. Just come and squeeze them somewhere, please. Make sure, no, especially women with children, please. Please, make sure that we allow them, please. They can come, just stand anywhere. The goal is us, please. Just give them room, just orderly. They can come in and stand anywhere. recurrent issues the Lord is addressing them now our time is gone but I'm praying recurrent issues the power of God is going to fall on people now I don't know how those outside will do but I pray for grace for them but I'm seeing a grace to destroy recurrent issues issues that come you solve them and they come back again where are those people I stretch my hands right now in the name of Jesus that fire is visiting them now recurrent issues the lord is setting people free right now recurrent issues please help this this woman recurrent issues that devil is going right now in the name of jesus recurrent issues recurrent issues 
never again in the name of Jesus never again by the power of the Holy Ghost please I know it's raining but participate God is touching people I'm seeing it again recurrent issues issues that come and you think you are done with and they return back I decree and declare that fire is coming now that fire is coming now recurrent issues in the name of Jesus be set free right now be set free right now be set free right now hallelujah Toy. Toy. What's your name? My son name is Toy. Toy. I will pray for you. I'm seeing serious witchcraft in this lady's family. This is this is heavy satanic oppression. Huh? Heavy satanic oppression all of you are toying what's your name my auntie Who? my auntie's name is toying i will pray for you please make sure you are toying don't come out carelessly but hold my hands i will pray for you i will use you as a point of contact to pray for your family hold my hands with both of your hands your family must be free from witchcraft lord jesus ah fire fire on every altar fire on every altar of witchcraft i command i use as a point of contact and pray for every family under the yoke of darkness under the yoke of bondage i command your emancipation now i command your emancipation every family under the yoke of darkness are you toying? Huh? you have bad luck bad luck on your life very bad luck hold my hands hold it with both of your hands lord jesus this is a miracle service set this lady free this yoke of bad luck i decree and declare that it must leave you right now in the name of jesus christ it must leave you right now your sister in the name of jesus christ i pray for you the same way god is touching her may god touch you too in the name of jesus christ in the name of Jesus Christ, my dear, you are doing my auntie. Where is she? What is this for? This is my family. My mom left my dad some couple of years ago and became a mother. And her immediate younger sister, she was also a mother. Hold the photo. You believe that when I pray for you, God will touch them. Lord, visit this family right now. In the name of Jesus. I release the power of the Holy Spirit in the name of Jesus through you let it touch your family please don't come out carelessly don't come out why why is she out why are you out my dear huh my sister is doing okay I'll lay my hands on you be free of your mother your mother something is leaving your mother in the name of Jesus I cost that spirit in the name of Jesus Kai what is this look at i'm seeing a snake this is what i'm seeing i'm seeing a snake i'm seeing a snake i'm seeing a snake please just thank god it's raining if you are inside don't complain those outside are enduring the rain just keep quiet and allow god to visit you snakes I saw a snake from this lady and I'm still seeing snakes around. There's no hiding place for darkness. I'm seeing snakes. Lord, let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances. 
in the name of Jesus, inside and outside. Let there be deliverances in the name of Jesus. Let there be deliverances. Let there be deliverances by the power of the Holy Ghost. This lady, come. This one with the no. Come. God is going to use you mightily. Lift your hands. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a, a lady that God is going to use mightily. That doesn't mean after service you come and start disturbing her. God is going to use you. Father, let that grace, that fire, this lady is going to be mightily used of God. I decree and declare, I don't know you, but I declare in the name of Jesus Christ that you must be free. I declare, don't worry, deliver. In the name of Jesus Christ, every access given to you by darkness, I close it now. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, I close it now. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I close it right now by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I close it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. I release that fire and that power. There is no hiding for any darkness. Release every breakthrough. Release every destiny. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. I'm hearing Memuna. 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 I don't know if he's here or outside or someone. Your love. Memuna. Huh? Is what? Your step. Okay. Memuna. No, I'm seeing something else. I will pray for you. Memuna. The Lord is showing me something else. Your name is Memuna. My younger sister. My youngest. Okay. I lay my hands on you. Look at me. You are not progressing. Hold my hands. The Lord wants to move you forward. This is not even in the name of Jesus. I release you to move forward right now. I command that you move forward in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord gives you visitations by the power of the Holy Spirit. Ah, hold my hands. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. I lose you to prosper and I lose your family to prosper. You came out to stand for someone, but you are the one God is giving the visitation. I decree and declare it by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. You won't believe what I'm about to pray for. I'm seeing written in the air forgetfulness. There is a strange spirit that comes upon men and causes them to forget things. Right now in the name of Jesus Christ. If you are here, whether it is memory loss or strange forgetfulness, the things you should do, you forget them and you pay the price. Wherever you are, I release you from it right now. I release you from it right now. I release you right to the back, outside, all the overflows. Anyone who has that manifestation in their lives, I release them right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. I release them right now. I release them from it right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. I release them right now. Why is he here? Why are you here, sir? Uh, my cousin. Is what? My cousin, we were here last week, but he didn't come today. Your what? My cousin, Tony. Tony. Okay. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God touch them whatever their issues are. I declare that God will resolve it right now. In Jesus' name. I'm seeing somebody I need to pray for. Physical money disappears sometimes from your pocket, sometimes from your bag. I'm not talking of stealing. Listen to what I'm saying. Don't just come out carelessly. Physic money, you can hold money like this and count it and see that it is less. It has disappeared. Who is that? I need to pray for you. It's a very serious issue. Yeah, na 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 na. You? Hallelujah. Kai. 
the Lord is showing me something very serious. There's somebody, um, don't be embarrassed. You woke up physically in the middle of the night. And now I'm not saying you idolize animals, but there was a rat, a physical rat, not running around. You were looking at it, it was looking at you like this. There's someone like that here. Rat, it was looking at you. You were, wave your hands, let me know you are the one I'm talking to. Come out, come and stand here. I'm not saying if you have rats in your rooms, that's not what I'm, this, this is a special, unique, demonic case. Come. Kai. This lady, I have to pray for you. Favor, zero. Breakthrough, zero. Trouble, 100%. Father, in the name of Jesus, change this face I'm seeing. Jakatos koprakato zakato liakata bakanda prakisia. Lekos kapranda gada suze preketekatos in the name of Jesus. Zekata tata suzia mante pros kata prande katoli akata shakas kende kos akras kate zeketons kamatan zekata reketo sekete kete kete bakata mam prato soto berekete riakata shase se 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 kata ma prato soto topaka embriata sada siata. Shakel kata mas kata baria kato, embre kete 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 kete, rekos koso so pe kete de kata, me priata sise koto so baria kata. Break the chains, break the chains, break the chains, break the chains in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. There is somebody, your grandmother appears to you. Your grandmother appears to you. Where is that person? Come. Don't be embarrassed. This is a serious issue. Our time is gone, but thank God it's raining. We are going to round up. Your grandmother, you see your grandmother. She appears. Who is that? Wave your hands. Come and stand here. It's a very demonic thing. Your grandmother appears to you. Come and stand. Grandmother appears to you. Who is that? Wave your hands. Let me know you are here. All of you that see your grandmother, come and stand here. We have to break you from that demonic thing. What fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness? This Lagos lady, God is on your case because you need to be thoroughly, thoroughly delivered. There is a spirit that is oppressing you and there's no hiding place. You hallucinate. This lady literally sees things. She can be here physically. It's, you know what they call astral travel. She can live. Not vision. Live physically. This lady. I command that wicked spirit. In the name of Jesus. And whatever she sees about you. Except you are powerful. It must happen. It's a spirit. She doesn't even know why. In the name of Jesus. I'm looking at her and I'm seeing a cat. I curse you. By the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus Christ. Please don't be tired. I know our time is gone, but it's raining. Let, let, let's just visit these things because... Come. You are a beautiful girl, but no favor in your life. Shift. Let me talk to this, this yellow girl. Come, run. God wants to wipe your tears. Ah, I'm looking at you and I'm seeing something like a crown on your head. Come, you must be delivered thoroughly. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, let this cause of disfavor is a beautiful girl but there's no favor in her life Shato soto bakata randa koto soto kete barakata i decree and declare every legal access of darkness i curse it right now i curse it right now i open the doors i open the doors from the realm of the spirit let there be favor over your life in jesus name hold on sir i need to pray for you this encounters supposed encounters has retrogressed your life i hear what i'm saying i have to pray for you because you are not supposed to be at this level right now you too you see your grandmother where are you from Calabar. no obudu obudu cross river obudu cross river i have to pray for you please if i if i didn't call why are you here are you sure you know why you are here huh you see your grandmother There's somebody here. Hold on. All of you see your grandmothers.
don't laugh you see let me tell you this is not some it's not mockery it's not i'm not saying every vision of grandmother is demonic please don't get me wrong these are very special strange wicked and demonic issues special strange wicked and demonic issues someone has fallen down there please let the doctors attend to the person make sure you are your brother's keeper so that they don't fall down and injure themselves hallelujah praise the lord hi you come what business do you have to do with dead people dead people eh? hold my hands say in jesus name say it seriously in jesus name every affiliation with the dead i curse it now i release an anointing upon you now everything you have to do with dead people in jesus name do you love jesus you love jesus huh mm -mm. you are not serious with jesus hold my hands how are you don't be embarrassed but um the first thing you need is your relationship i'm looking at you i can't i don't want to embarrass you but you need jesus seriously i love you eh that's why i'm helping you i love you with all my heart go and meet the who um where's pastor alpha just meet him he will talk with you you need counseling is your own is not just grandmother god just brought you out here to in your destiny is needed please go and see i will talk to you now all of you who are having these issues i'm going to lay my hands on you now when i lay my hands on you i want you to believe there is this strange kai i'm seeing somebody someone appears to you in the night and when he appears to you please don't come out at random as soon as he appears to you your spirit literally starts leaving your body literally as in you feel yourself you will come out and you will see you again lying down on the bed there's somebody with that case that situation right now i have to pray for that person right now i have to pray for that person right now something comes pulls your spirit out like he's going i will lay my hands on you all of you are so many father every affiliation with darkness i'm going to lay my hands on all of you very fast sir i'm i'm looking at you and i'm seeing the spirit of poverty and lack serious poverty yes sir eh? yes sir nothing works yes, your sir. life is like a basket anything that enters goes out i'm not embarrassing you eh? you are saying it money truth. leaves your hand even if they give you one million it must find a way of going yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Man, but money does not stay yes sir is that true yes sir do you tight yes sir. you are not consistent one two um you see this consistency of tightening is one way to drive the devourer god is not a magician you have to be consistent Praise God. God blesses you ten times. You tight once. Your heavens are completely closed. Father, in the name of Jesus, I lay my hands right now and I command breakthrough. In Jesus' name. Let me lay my hands quickly now. You're the God of miracles. Amazing God. You're the God of miracles. In the name of Jesus Christ. Go now and cost that spirit.
us our Lord. Thank you so much for your patience. I just took advantage of the rain. I want to prophesy over your life now. We're going to be very fast. Five minutes and we're out of this place. Please, I want you to believe every prayer that is coming now. Every prayer. Come. Every prayer. The Lord is taking you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. A new dimension. A new level. Cameraman. God is wiping your tears. Keep the camera first. Wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. In the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is wiping your tears. This lady. I'm praying God is visiting her family. That lady standing close to Ella. I'm seeing a vision that the Lord is going to show her a breakthrough. I'm commanding right now in the name of Jesus. Everything tying down your families. Particularly the Lord is asking me to release the family now. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. Now I decree and declare. By the power of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy. Those outside, please follow me. Those online, follow me. Our time is gone, but let's just be patient. Two, three minutes, we're out of here. I decree and declare from tonight, move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Move forward in the name of Jesus. Make progress 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 in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Advance in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Be fruitful in the name of Jesus. Multiply in the name of Jesus. Anyone here who has lost anything in your life, I declare, I'm seeing 28 in 28 days. Shato Soto Koto Pakata. 28 days from now. I command that it comes back to your hands. I command that it comes back to your hand. I command that it comes back to your hand. Anyone here who has been victimized by life, by circumstances, by men, I decree and declare, may the God I serve vindicate you right now. Everyone here in need of direction, you are praying, oh God, I need to know what step do I take. In the name of Jesus tonight, strange encounters that bring you direction. Strange encounters that bring you direction. The yoke of poverty and hardship and lack, I command it to live your life now. I command it to live your life now. Live your family now. Leave your destiny now. I pray for every family represented here. Whatever you are trusting God for as a family, I release my faith with you. And I decree and declare that it is turned into your testimony now. The kind of favor you have not seen from January till now, I decree and declare from tonight, not tomorrow, from tonight, let it start working in your life. Strange favor in your life. Strange favor in your life. God has placed his honor upon this ministry. I pray for you from today, anywhere you go. Whether they know you or not, I command them to honor you. Believe it, I command honor upon your life. In the name of Jesus. Two more prayer points and we are done. Whatever has made your pace of your life slow. Some of you are moving forward but you are too slow for your destiny. At the rate you are going, you will not do much in your lifetime. I prophesy to you. In the name of Jesus, receive the grace for speed. Receive the grace for speed. Do in one month what you have not done in five years. In the name of Jesus Christ. And finally, I pray for you. Whatever has taken advantage of your spiritual life, your prayer life, your fasting life, word life, passion for God, passion for the house of God, right now I stretch my hands and I declare fresh fire on your altar. Prayer fire on your altar. 
word fire on your altar fasting fire on your altar I decree and declare upon everyone receive a manifestation of the spirit of revelation in the name of Jesus let me add one last prayer point judgment upon the wicked let it begin tonight some of you don't like the prayer I say it again judgment upon the wicked in the name of Jesus Christ that every man woman boy and girl that partners with darkness to frustrate your destiny may the God of vengeance arise in the name of Jesus Christ wave your hands to Jesus father we give you all the praise we give you all the glory Thank you. hello scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs it says my son attend to my sins incline thy ears to my words let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee as you have listened to this message we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well that you will keep these words in the midst of your heart that no matter the circumstance your eyes are going to be fixed on these words and as you have been blessed we will tell you to share this message be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed and then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos we have loads of content that is going to make you blessed that is going to set you on course that is going to set you ablaze and don't forget to like for us thank you